see that? Each side. Each side. And you see volunteer right in the middle. And you see the logo imprint right in the center right there, that little square. Okay. So we're going to see how it looks. This is the inside now. But keep in mind, that's the inside. Let me show you guys. Now when you flip it inside out, boom, volunteer. Boom, your best life. Okay. <laughs> oh, with the little cricket. You guys get the idea though. Okay, so let's see how it looks on. There you go, now it fits. See? Okay, so now that we got the shirt tailored to our liking, Okay, and I actually kind of like this side better than the other side as of now, volunteer. Okay, um, what we're going to do is flip it inside out, and we're going to add the straps to it now. <clears throat> okay, and so if you add the straps where the seams are, where we did the safety pin, it's going to be either on front or back. That's the only way we're going to be able to reverse it if it's right smack dab in the middle. Cut off from the top of the shirt. We're going to actually utilize this piece. Cut all the way around from this end, the furthest piece, this end to this end. Make a straight round here and then make two strips. Okay, so let, let's see how that works out. I'm just going to show you and not talk so much. the fabric over the scissor and use it as some resistance to cut against it so you're doing more of like a ripping and cutting shearing effect here like a little top piece there but now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut another round here okay so that way we can create a strap now so follow the same lines that you've cut earlier. Try to keep the same margin all okay. see that? Straps. Nice. Straps, see? Straps. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually anchor one side of it down first. <clears throat> you can twist it all you want, okay? But I'm gonna one more safety pin. So it doesn't move around, it just stays put. One side, because what I'm gonna do now is measure how much more of the strap I would need so that I can anchor the other side down. Does that make this bra again? Um, the strap that I attach is over on this side. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to measure it and throw it over just like that. Oops. See that, Oprah? I'm going to find where the seam is, and that's where I'm going to anchor down and pin down the strap. You can take it off and do it if you want to, but in this case, I already showed you guys how to do it the first time around. So, there we go. There's one. Now, with this loose piece of fabric over on both sides, what you can do is just use this to stretch it over the strap, okay? Let me show you how to do it here. You 
that fabric to stretch it over the strap and tuck it behind and make, give it that finished look and smooth it out. You can even utilize your bra too to be able to tuck in some of these fabrics. Just tuck it down. Same thing over here. Pull. Cool. 